This month, a meeting will take place in Nairobi in Kenya, where scientists, including a delegation from IUCN, will meet with the world's governments to advise them on the best way forward to save all life on Earth, the planet's biodiversity. The conference, known as the Subsidiary Body on Scientific, Technical and Technological Advice, or SUBSTA, is a crucial part of the Convention on Biological Diversity. Decisions taken in Nairobi will provide a scientific basis for the convention, which will meet in Nagoya in Japan later this year. Well, with me is Bill Jackson, IUCN's Deputy Director General. Bill, what will happen at Substa? The main thing about Substa is it provides the base for the discussions in Nagoya. So in itself, it's not a super important meeting, but its impact on the Nagoya negotiations is absolutely crucial to what IUCN and the conservation community is trying to achieve overall. So what does IUCN want from Substa? There's many things we'd like to see, but probably the biggest is during uh, the discussions in Nairobi, they'll be looking at uh, a strategic plan for the co conference of the parties that will be in Nagoya, and particularly looking at what's called the biodiversity targets, which are due to run out this year, and what happens next. So we're interested in what's the shape of those targets beyond 2010. And how important is this year's SUBSTA, bearing in mind it's the International Year of Biodiversity? This is an absolute, absolutely crucial substance for uh, the uh, convention because uh, at looking at that strategic plan, re-looking re, re at that be beginning again, and also a roadmap forward, if you like, for the target. So it's, it's probably one of the most important substances we've seen in many years. Are you confident about what's going to happen? I think there's a real need for a very strong focus of this substance. So I'm always confident, but I'm also a bit concerned that the agenda uh, is very much focused internationally on climate change. Now, of course, we all understand that's important, but the rate of biodiversity loss and the challenges we faced with ecosystems and habitats is, is equally as important for uh, the future of biodiversity, but also the future of our societies and economies. So we need to find a bit of balance in this substance so that uh, there's some strength behind biodiversity conservation. As the Convention on Biological Diversity is striving to take action to prevent further biodiversity loss, parallel negotiations are underway to create a new mechanism to ensure that decisions are based on the best possible scientific information. The final meeting, which will decide on whether to establish this intergovernmental platform on biodiversity and ecosystem services, or IPBES, will take place in June. Bill, why is IPBES so important? Bringing science uh, into decision making, into policy, is a critical thing to get policy right. And it's really part of the basis of what IUCN has been about uh, for 60 odd years, is ensuring that science gets into policy. But uh, the, the new mechanism they're proposing is crucially important because it's governments bringing that in, very similar to what we saw with the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. So science and policy, they go together. And what is IUCN's role in it, Bez? Uh, we see our role as promoting uh, that it's good science, that it's independent as science needs to be, and that it's well-informed science and links to civil society and to academia as well as to governmental-based science. So uh, we're, we're very happy to be able to provide some support to that uh, into that UN system because it helps us achieve our mission of conserving nature.